One Max here with Avon Website Pro, and this video is about like if you have email relays. Sometimes people have 500 email relays on their server. Some people have 250. Some people have a thousand. And you know, especially with GoDaddy and you know other email service providers, they limit you because of the fact that we have spammers. So today I'm going to show you how to find, track down, and block that filthy spammer. And uh, if you go to Amon Website Pro and just type in spammer over here, you'll see this one right here with this graphic, find, track, and block that filthy spammer. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, you have to have a terminal. So you have to be logged in via terminal uh, root. And we're using CentOS Linux system. And I'm going to show you how to track this. Uh, if, if we log into my, my server here, you can see I'm getting a lot of uh, spam from this particular website. So if I go to my mail queue manager, I could see that I got a crap load of them loaded up. And uh, it's asking me if I want to deliver all. But I want to neutralize this threat before it becomes a problem. Okay? So <clears throat> I'm going to go back to my article, article, find track down, so you could just follow along with me. What you want to do is go here and copy this entire code. Okay? It's a longer code, but it's going to show you something very interesting on your server. The first thing I need to do, go on my terminal. I'm already logged into the server, but I, log, I have to log in as root. So I type in S-U-D-O, S-U, just like that. And now you'll see that I'm logged in as root. I'm going to hit CD forward slash, hit, put that in there. And I'm just going to paste in that code. I'm on a Mac. You might have to right-click and paste if you're on a uh, using PuTTY or a uh, Ubuntu Linux. All right, so now we see the problem here. If we go down, we see there's 2,700 in this particular folder. So I have to go to this folder and neutralize that threat. Okay. Uh, now we could do this a number of different ways, but if you follow along, it, you know. On the lesson here, it shows you that you're going to get back that, and that's what we did. And we can see these are the emails sent, and these are the folders being accessed over here. All right. So you can enter this command here to see what scripts are in that directory, or you can just navigate to that directory. One of the things that I like to do, I know this is this, this script right here because I uh, I already neutralized the one in that one. So I'm going to hit cd and then i'm just going to paste that in there and i'll hit ls so i could see a list of the scraps scripts in there and you could see this title 22 here this doesn't look right to me and so what i can do is i can nano into that and uh, how you do that is you just copy this little file here nano and type in nano now, I'm not real sure that that's the script, but if I take a little peek inside there with this, I could see that this is a bunch of uh, malicious code. And especially if I go down to the bottom there. All right. So it's using this eval function, and it's ma it, they're using a mailer so they can burn up this guy's SMTP re or this guy's email relays. So what we want to do is either remove that script or what we can actually edit it and let the spammer try to hit that and uh, see what happens to him. So that you can do, I'm going to hit control X and exit out of the file. Okay. Now I'm in there. Now I know that title 22 is the culprit. So I'm just going to hit RM for remove title 22.php. Okay. Just like that. Now it removes the file. I have to hit Y for yes. And if I hit LS again to get my list, you can see that, that that's removed. So, and now I'll neutralize the threat that way. Now here's some other things that you want to do as far as that goes. I mean, you can actually use this grep mailer and see the IP addresses, but if they're if they're using a lot of different IP addresses, which I know these guys are, this isn't going to do you much good. But you do want to remove that file, neutralize the threat, maybe check some of these other folders. We want to check the folders that are getting hit a lot. Okay, 
So the, sometimes we have clients that get hit, but we like to get in there right away and take care of stuff before their email relays get uh, shut off. The other thing that you want to do is type in here in A1 Website Pro EXIM. Okay, this has to do with your mailer on your dedicated server. And this is the EXIM cheat sheet. Now, what will happen is a lot of your uh, uh, mails will go into queued and they'll become frozen. In fact, let me hit that mail queue manager again. We need to get rid of all those and all these. Uh, there's frozen ones on here too. So, and these will all eventually become frozen. So we need to get rid of them. So we go to our EXIM cheat sheet. And right down here where it says frozen emails, you come down here and you can get a list of all the emails that are frozen on your server by just pasting in that little command right there. And notice we have 2,115. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove those by highlighting this command, copy. And let's put that in there. And it's going to remove all those frozen emails. Okay, now you can hit arrow up twice, go back to that one, see how many more are frozen in there. And that's how you can track down, get rid of that, that filthy spammer. I'll show you how to uh, access their IP addresses. I'll show you how to track down that IP address. Uh, one of the things that you can do is go through uh, the, the emails in your WHM. Uh, you can use this checkbox to highlight all the messages from the uh, problem website you know, that are in your queue. And what you can do is click Delete Selected. And that probably take a couple minutes, but that'll delete all of the emails that are in queue, which are 591 records that we know that are no good. So it'll do this and it'll remove the messages in that queue. And that way this will clear up your... Uh, you know your your exim and let it run uh, at optimal performance instead of uh, waiting for all those messages in the queue. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you how to uh, track down the IP address once again on a website pro. Just type in spammer, just like that, and whenever you get to that first post that you find in the search, find track down that filthy spammer. Click on that. We were on this here a few minutes ago. When we were trying to find out. And then if you come here, please give me a little vote up if you if you can. If you'd like to, to read easy, you can click that read easy and, and scroll down through there too. Also, uh, if you want to hide the images, you can. Or change it to dark. So sometimes I like to do that whenever I'm, I'm working. And just to uh, mark my spot. And so... What we want to do is this particular one right here. I could click on that and highlight it so I don't lose my place. Now, the one that was in question was that uh, Touch 22. Remember when we removed it? So let's go ahead and scroll back up. This, these are all the messages that were removed, the frozen messages in the terminal. So we're going to scroll up and get the name of that file. And let's see here. name of that file here. There it is, title22.php. So we want to see how many people were accessing this file because we know that that one was the one that was uh, sending out the dirty little emails. So I'm going to copy this. I can right click or copy or on a Mac I can just hit, hit Command C and it copies that for me. And I'm going to bring up, uh, well let me bring up the uh, new my uh, blank document and that's the the one this is the file that I want to see what IP address accessed it okay so I'm going to go back here and I'm going to grab this little code so I can edit it so let me go grab this code copy and I'm going to put this on the next line and this title 22 is the one I want to grab okay and then I have a little bit uh, a different structure here. Um, 
I want to put the, the person's username that's being attacked and then his website. Okay. And this will give me a list of IP addresses. That's where I put my Y in there. And I want to grab this particular code right here that I modified, copy it, go back to my terminal, and I'm going to hit CD, make sure that I'm in the root, root directory there. And I'm going to paste in that, that code that I edited, and notice I get a list of IP addresses that have been accessing that particular file. So I could actually, you know, copy all these IP addresses. The number one there is how many times this particular IP address was accessed. And so what happens is um, you could tell if it was like several times, uh, like this could be a thousand, and then it would have the IP address that lets you know that that's the IP address that you have to block. But if anybody is accessing this particular file, I know that they're a spammer. Now this guy's using a remote IP, which means he'll change his IP address and hit that particular script so it sends out spam to people that he wants it to send spam to. You could copy all these and block them in your CP Hulk or WHM or your firewall. Now I'm not going to show that particular part of the video, but you could look it up on YouTube and there are some videos out there how to uh, block IPs, but I simply just removed it. Another thing that you can do is, is block the execution of PHP scripts in a particular directory. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If we go back to A1 Website Pro, I'm going to go back to normal reading here so I can use the search. Okay, if we go to A1 Website Pro, we want to disable the P execution of PHP script. So type in disable just like that in the search. And whenever you hit search, disable like that, you can see this little uh, script right here. Disable PHP on a directory with HT access. So if you're on an Apache server, you could disable the execution of these scripts just by having this little um, this little thing right in there. And what you want to do is copy this, okay? And remember the file in question was in the, if we, if we scroll all the way to the top here, let me go all the way to the top. It'll give us a list of the uh, files. Um, in this, okay, it's the WP, uh, it's in the plugins uh, mobile detector. So I'm going to highlight all of this copy it one more time and I'm going to scroll clear down to the bottom below my terminal and I'm going to hit CD and I'm going to paste in this particular I'm going to go to this particular directory if I hit, hit LS I could see a list of the things in that directory and so what I want to do is create a HT access file so what I want to type in is touch dot HT access just like that okay now what I want to do is nano into that nano dot HT access just like that and that's going to bring up my little screen and all I want to do is take my little code here from a one website pro to deny from all any execution of any PHP scripts and just put it in there okay and then I'll hit control O to write that to the HT access and hit enter. Now the uh, PHP will not execute. That's just a little bit of added extra security that might not be necessary for you, but it's recommended that you put this in your uploads folder as well as other files too. So PHP cannot be executed in these certain ones. Now, of course, this folder might need some PHP executed, but at the risk of uh, you know, the email relays, we don't want to enable that, you know, and then the user will have to go in there and edit his particular plugin or get rid of it altogether because it has, it's wreaking havoc on the server. 
This is Max with A1 Website Pro. I hope this tutorial was uh, beneficial to you. I know it was lengthy, but please like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.